Cable 2, the award-winning community television channel for Fairhaven and the Cushman, presents the 18th annual blessing of the new Bedford Fishing Fleet. Blessing of the number one fishing fleet in the United States. Happy 200th birthday, New Bedford. Now aboard the Vigilant is Ensign Tim Querum, Public Affairs Officer. And Tim is going to give us a little rundown of the Vigilant. And for you sea dogs out there, you'll appreciate some of the specs he's about to give you. I'll tell you a little bit about the ship. Uh, the Vigilant was the third Coast Guard cutter of the 210-foot Reliance class to be built. It was uh, commissioned on October 3rd, 1964. Uh, she's powered by Cooper Bessemer V12 uh, turbo diesels. She'll do about 14 knots. Uh, the complement is 10 officers and uh, 70 enlisted. Uh, we normally do four-week patrols with about a two-week endurance before we need to come in uh, to receive stores and refuel. We can cruise about 5,000 miles uh, between refuelings. The Vigilant, as all Coast Guard cutters are, is uh, involved in the drug enforcement business and of lately we've been heavily involved in fisheries enforcement and protecting the Georges Bank fisheries and uh, recently we've dealt with some uh, violations of fisheries regulations in closed spawning areas and, uh, and some flagrant violations of fishing nets and we've been working to improve the fisheries and to enforce the laws in the fisheries. Come DIW after he hauls back, leave the gear on deck and uh, muster his crew in the waist or however you want. Skipper, we're going to be sending a boarding party over momentarily. Uh, after the fall back, Skipper, nice to get you dead in the water. What you're seeing here is a we've launched uh, one of our motor surf boats and we're sending a boarding team over to a, a fishing boat that we're about to board and what we do is we contact the master on the radio before we go and and get some information and then tell him make a decision whether to board or not and tell him whether we intend to and he can we try to interfere the least amount possible we don't make him stop and, and haul in his nets we let him continue fishing so Along with the Vigilant, the U.S. Coast Guard Cutter Unimac makes New Bedford its home port with a crew of about 130 men, including 16 enlisted officers. The Unimac, commissioned in 1943, is one of the oldest cutters of its class still in operation.